Chi mày it's going already, isn't it? Yep. Uh. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Eric the Red. I'm Rick Shaw Tom. And this is, is news, news for, for the, the caffeinated. caffeinated. And this happens to be a very special news to the caffeinated because in a manner of speaking, we are bringing something back from the dead. But not for you people. But something that's already been bought, brought back from the dead. Um... This may not make a whole lot of sense to you, but last spring, uh, I found a, uh, a Rockstar beverage, this one actually, right in front of us, um, that just knocked our socks off. We did an episode about it, and it was actually the first drink in our uh, YouTube series that we gave a perfect 10. But it's not the first one in our YouTube series because it never made it to YouTube. Exactly. Um, I had issues with the audio, it was, it was still in our early days, and it was just utterly unusable. The important thing is that by explaining this to you, we already know this is a fantastic drink, and explaining this is keeping it from being in my face hole at the moment. And the reason we didn't do this again sooner is because right after we did it, it promptly disappeared. No idea why. We couldn't find it in any stores, and I even went to, uh, I even looked at Rockstar's website, and it was listed as not available. Which... Mm means they weren't making it anymore. Those and sons I, of bitches. Yep, and I still looked everywhere I went. They must I not went. have seen our episode that we didn't install and put up on internet. Fuck, I'm hungry. <laughs> well, good, because caffeine works better on an empty stomach. I've got hot dogs that are on the stove at the moment. Breakfast of Champions? The hot dogs and rock star. So the reason I have them right now is because when I was in Rhode Island Comic Con last weekend, I stopped at a rinky dink little gas station, and they had these there. Wait, wait. Expiration date. Expiration date. Where is There's the just a weird set of numbers that really mean nothing. Um, mm. So I was like, you know what? This is either going to be really old stock, or it's going to be, for some reason, they brought it back. So I, I took my chances. I grabbed an armful. Um, these are our last two. I actually gave one to my boss because I because <gasps> I, I hyped it up and they're like, oh, you should look for this drink. It's great. And then and then it was gone. So I felt like a dick. So <sighs> in any case, um, I did I did go back on Rockstar's website and you can now order these again. So oh. these are, it's new stock. It's not. <sighs> old. But even then, if it had been sitting around for a year, I would still drink it. Dude, you're playing with my emotions here. You had me thinking, oh crap, they might still be gone. But now that I know that they're back, all right. The, the very interesting thing about this is we don't really see much fruit-flavored Pure Zero from Monster or Rockstar or really anything. Yeah, I mean, the whole Pure Zero series from Rockstar, they're more, they taste like the color of the liquid. They're like, there's the red one, and then there's the blue one, and the white one. And yeah, there's some fruit flavor there, but it's not defined. Mm -hmm. This one is actually defined. It's uh, mango, orange, passion fruit. So it's very tropical, and it actually reminds me very much of the effects of Galaxy Hops in a New England IPA. It's just all of that huge tropical fruit aroma that is just awesome. So in a way, to me, this is kind of like, you know, drinking a beer. In a way, you already drink beer. Well, yeah, but, you know, this is one I can drink in the car or <laughs> you at work. You technically can. <laughs> Ah, uh, drive-ins. You're not going anywhere, so does it count? But the interesting thing to note about it is while this has such awesome luscious fruit flavor, it has no juice. I forgot about that little detail. Yes. So they do some magical fucking unicorn things with with uh, flavors and essences. I'm going to disagree. I will argue that guarana seed extract, while not actually from the fruit itself, it kind of is juice? Yep, no, extract is not juice. God damn it! <laughs> Extract is not juice! So what about milk thistle extract? Is milk thistle a fruit? I have thistles. Can you milk me? No. <laughs> I wouldn't so, know. We've just been sitting here talking about this, this awesome drink that we haven't been able to drink for a year, and we haven't even cracked it open yet. Well, we need to, because... <laughs> you, uh, Did little, you notice? Little, little got yeah, away from I, you there. it got excited. So. Uh, I have missed you. Oh, and the room is just oh, you can it. smell it. It's like a fucking How can of the fruit fuck? salad. It smells like a freshly sliced mango, but one that's oh. kind of overly ripe. It is like the mango is the huge uh, overpowering. Uh, uh, I sniffed too hard. Uh. Delicious pain. Oh god! Apparently, I've taken to snorting my caffeine. <laughs> mm. 
All right, so I'm going to pour some out so we can get a look at it. I'm going to guzzle. No, I'm going to sip because I rem this is one of the few times where we do a news of the caffeinated and we already know. We know. Oh, and this is super brightly caffeinated, which is a... There's a big improvement over the nearly flat Crystal Pepsi we had last oh, week. Oh, Jesus. Such a bright amount of bubbles in there. And the way you phrase that makes it sound like it's the caffeine that gives it the color. But well, no, it's just... Whoever put in the fake uh, coloring on these, you nailed it. You did. It's a nice, uh, mm. like, light gold, I guess. There's I don't know if it's the monitor, but it's looking like... Mountain Dew on the screen. Yeah, but in person it's it's very Much cloudier. Yeah, it's it's there's an opaque whiteness to it. Um, it's a it's a light straw colored. So. Mm. Yes. Oh, it smells so good. I'm glad to see that my memory of this hasn't mm. been utterly rose tinted. Because this is, this this is, is so good. This is just as good as I remember it being. It's bright and fruity. There's no bitterness, there's no medicinal energy blend residue or aftertaste. It's, this is magic right here. This is what an energy drink should be. Uh, this is what they should be when you're in the fruity moods. True, but even though I'm not always in a fruity mood, if I can get this regularly, it's maybe... <laughs> gay joke! Yeah. Insert a gay joke! Ha ha! Insert! Ha ha! Gay! Ha ha! Butt sex! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! This is such a good drink. How many, someone, how many subscribers that's gonna lose us? Or gain us? And <laughs> I said anus. <laughs> I said gay anus. <laughs> uh, We're adults. Good morning. Clearly. Go. What was that monster flavor we did? The pipeline punch. Pipeline punch. Yep. I also I, so good. I think this barely wins out on it. This does. This this edges out the pipeline punch bra. I would say that my one complaint on it is it kind of gives that that fruity coating of the inside of your mouth, like when you've eaten an overly ripe fruit. But then again, I've also drank about half this can already. You know what I mean about that, though? And the light carbonation, not over the top, but... Mm. Alright, so just uh, looking at information now, since it is a pure zero beverage, that means it has the full 240 milligram charge of caffeine. That explains why I feel happy. <laughs> so unlike, the monster, unlike Monsters 160, that's really where Rockstar is standing on their own, is they really crank up the caffeine. Just so. for the overly so, 240 milligrams for the can, it's technically two servings, but come on, what are you mm. going to do with half a can, except drink it? Freeze it? <laughs> I would make popsicles out of this. Popsicles? Yeah, it's... It's just so good. If you can find this in your area, pick up a case, buy it all. I'm going to... Um... Save some of this and make some popsicles. <laughs> Just to follow through immediately. That would go well with popsicles. What doesn't go well with popsicles? <laughs> Breakfast cereals? I don't know, maybe, if you get creative. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe one of those fruity cereals like tricks. No, it's very satisfying, too. I mean, I've had about half the can. I don't feel like I need to finish it, but the fact that there's still liquid in it is telling me that I should finish it. It actually feels more like a breakfast beverage than the um, the rocks, the monster offering uh, Sunrise. Oh, uh, yeah. They're, uh, they're very, very orangey one that's like, oh, this is kind of like juice. I could drink this in the morning. Didn't it, that one I taste, think it surpasses this. I think we said that that tasted like Orangina and it wasn't like an over-the-top orangey. It was, it was like, it remember. tasted like the smell of peeling an orange. Ah, uh, yes. You know, that, the slight pithiness in the orange oil. You know, it was very bright and clean. It's a nice drink. Yeah, it's but, not bad, but mango, passion fruit. This you can't go wrong with mango. I love mango. Mm. This is one of those times where there's not much to say about it, except that this is just fantastic. 
It is. And I, I hope think... uh, the distributors in this area pick this up and put it in stores, because... I, I mean, I, I don't, don't, don't want to have to drive back to Rhode Island for yeah. it, but... Mm -hmm. that's, that's worth four hours each way. I've got family close enough to the border, and Thanksgiving's coming up. Hey. Oh, I just had a crazy idea. Chicken glaze. Uh, uh? I don't know. I, I, I think when it comes to trying to cook with an energy drink, I think that's where you get the bitter medicinal flavors coming out. Person, I, that's I don't know. But. We shall see. I'm saving some of this popsicles and chicken, food for the caffeinated. Well, if if you want to do that with your caffeine, then you are more than welcome. Well, I'm glad I got two cans. There's enough. I can save. I can have a little bit more. Uh. But I can't have more <laughs> and make a popsicle and um and make chicken out of it. But it's interesting enough that I would imagine uh, that with some rosemary and yeah, yeah. That's gonna happen. And then just then just since we haven't talked about it. The can design, it's very nice. It's almost Halloween-y. It's a black base with orange and yellow uh, gradient lettering on it. It's very attractive, very eye-catching. Let's not forget that it actually matches the colors of the fruits that it's it supposed does. to represent. It does. And unlike most other energy drinks, multiple colorings on one can. Whoa! Whoa. <coughs> <laughs> Even the bark was pleasant! <laughs> It started pleasant. So I think this definitely makes up for how uh, underwhelming Crystal Pepsi was last week. The <laughs> five! <laughs> 63 milligrams of caffeine. Pussies! Cola beverage ah! that tastes like Sprite. That was just so mind fuckery. Yeah. But I will give this the same scoring I did on our initially audio lost video and give this solid 10. I agree. This beverage is absolutely perfect. Um, Forever! It's, 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 it's beautiful. It's a beautiful beverage. I uh, think I could be happy if all other energy drinks just disappeared and just left us with that. Yeah, but we know that's not going to happen. With we're going we're gonna, we're gonna go to go to Big Lots and Family Dollar and find another atrocious abortion of a drink. And, uh, you mean a would-be abortion? Oh wait, no, Big Lots is where energy drinks go to die. <laughs> <laughs> I see. They you know, either like, gained us or lost us some followers. I mean, since something came back and, uh, you know, resurrected <laughs> like, <laughs> like the god it is. Um, you know, such a, such a perfect ten beverage coming back into our life. I, I think the fates must have something in their cards where an utter zero of a drink is also going to come back into our life. So I'm, uh, I'm looking at you either Von Douche or Energia from uh, the makers yeah. of Clamato. What about Hango? Did you ever try that one? Hango. It was a very bitter medicinal energy drink. I don't think so. It was designed, if you can't tell from the name, it's designed as a hangover removal supplement. Hmm. And I tried it, and it just made me feel worse. <laughs> Maybe it was meant to distract from your hangover with, like, here, it tastes like you crunched all your medicine. You know? Huh. Yeah. That is what it tasted like. It tastes like you crunched a bunch of Tylenol or gross. Advil. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, it was also loaded it. with milk thistle and uh, shit like that. But. I mean, like this, but this hides it! Yes. This is what you do! Mm. I'm pointing at the makers of Rockstar and any other energy drink. You do this! You make more of this! Yeah, in terms of terrible drinks that we've done, we've only really brought back one other terrible drink, and that was <laughs> Stacker 2 <laughs> in our Surge video. Um, but yeah, I mean... As great as this was and how awesome it was to bring it back, um, we we can't just focus on fantastic beverages because we need to focus on everything. This one borderline makes me want to rethink our scale of 1 to 10. I mean, unlike other YouTubers that don't go below a 6, maybe they're afraid of offending somebody with their weekly reviews and week reviews and 
this. Mm. This is everything. All right, so you heard it here first. Perfect 10 for Rockstar Pure Zero Mango Orange Let's Passion Fruit. Let's give it a 9.73. No, let us not. <laughs> so perfect 10. 10. This is the this is the benchmark that all other beverages will be held to. So if you find this in your area, pick it up. You have no reason to go there wrong. Is. And yes, it is a sugar-free beverage, and that's what makes it even more remarkable. That's a perfect 10. It does not taste it. It tastes like a fruit, fruity, bright, delicious, wonderful drink. My lady friend has a thing of mango juice in her fridge. It's like that. Does it go well with vodka? I imagine it does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, go ahead and do all those things you're supposed to do. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, then, well, you know what to do. I liked it because I got to drink this. Yeah, I did too. Um, go ahead and uh, leave us some comments down below if you have any questions or concerns, or if you've had this yourself and you just want to praise its graces. And go ahead and subscribe to this channel, and it really helps us out. And, uh... Yeah. We've earned 10 cents through this! <laughs> Money! <laughs> yeah. We've almost earned the deposit on the cans! <laughs> it's something! Yeah, it's a long way from doing this as full-time jobs, but if more people subscribe and more people watch, then maybe we could do this and put videos out more than once a week. So, the power is yours! I'm Eric the Red. I'm Rick Chatton. And this has been... News for the Caffeinated! A very delicious one at that. Quite. I'm gonna go make some popsicles. Of course you are. Yeah. I know you're looking for some bonus content, but what? Come on, this this drink stands for itself. Just go, go now, go, go find this, go find this, buy it. Drink it. Enjoy it. Live your life. Don't We're hang around for bonus, bonus content. content. Popsicles is bonus content. Or my chicken. Or what he said. So, for some basic bonus content this week, I have uh, put the Rockstar Pure Zero into the freezer in an ice cube tray. Now, I did not fill it up to this point, if you can't tell, that would be physically impossible, the liquid would just run over the side, so it seems to have done a weird expanding thing, so if you want a way to get more caffeine, that'll be how you do it. And let's see how this is, other than cold. It's still fucking tasty though. Oh, here's something interesting. All of the carbonation bubbles in it seem to have expanded and created larger air pockets in it. So I was worried about, mm, man, that's tasty, getting solid bits of energy drink, but I wonder if this will work. Yep. Mm. Breaks apart really nicely. So. Get some toothpicks, make yourself some ghetto style popsicles with this stuff. I thought this would, I would chalk this up to a fail, but no. My only problem with it now is we're actually, it's actually snowing outside after days of spring fall like weather. So I think I jinxed us. My bad guys. Still haven't marinated a chicken in it. <laughs> Let's see how that happens. Ah, ah. Ah, oh, cold.